medical model of disabilities, how we initially conceptualized disability. It stated essentially that disability was inherent. It was a medical function and people who had dif different disabilities were inherently different because of who they were. The social model for disability is what we look to now. It forces us all to think about the ways in which disability is actually just the social construction we've all come up with because we don't know how to handle difference. It acknowledges that we're all in some ways products of society and that if we look at our environmental situations and we think about just the unique abilities instead of some sort of rigid biomedical deficiency, we're all going to be a lot more open to the talents and skills that every individual in our communities possesses. The second we collectively as a society start moving away from this very rigid medical way of thinking about disability to this more social and nuanced and influenced by environmental and societal factors model that exists within the social model concept of disability is the moment that we all collectively start being far more accepting of difference and recognizing it as a strength instead of as a deficiency and something we should be afraid of. It becomes something that we can embrace and celebrate rather than something we have to avoid because it's wrong. When in reality, there's nothing we need to fix about our differences except our own attitudes towards people who may be a little different than us. We are